Well, welcome guys. Welcome back to Sea Life Melbourne. My name's Olivia and I'll be telling you a little bit about habitats today. Now you may have thought about habitats before and you might be learning them in uh, term two at school. Good luck if you are. We're going to tell you a little bit about what habitats are and what they're all about. Habitats are a place where animals live and most of the time you'll find an animal in its preferred habitat. Some of the habitats that we have at the aquarium include the open ocean, rocky reefs, coral reefs and this beautiful Antarctic penguin exhibit. We have king and gentoo penguins in this exhibit and they typically live on the Antarctic islands around the edge of Antarctica. These sorts of habitats are very cold, lots of snow and rocks and lots of places for penguins to stand about as we can see right here. We've tried to replicate what happens down on the, uh, in Antarctica by replicating some of the features of the habitat that they would come from. So you'll notice we've got lots of penguins standing up on rocks and rocks are one of the main features of the habitat these penguins are from. Rocks are very important to the smallest penguins in this exhibit, the gentoos, so they actually use them to make little nests and that's where they lay their eggs. One of the other things that's very important about this exhibit is the light level. Now the penguins in this exhibit uh, live in a place where for six months of the year it can be quite dark and that's because of the angle of the sun. In some places in Antarctica it's dark for six months of the year and sunshine for the other six months. So what we've done here in the exhibit is replicated how long the day is right throughout the year. So sometimes you might come and visit and it might be dark in this exhibit and that's because the sun has set in Antarctica. By making sure we control how long the day is, these penguins know what time of year it is and when they should be breeding. Some of our penguins have bred already this season and you may have seen our baby king penguins. Baby king penguins like these fluffy ones you would usually find spend all of their time on the rocks and on the snow waiting for their parents to come back from hunting in the sea. One of the reasons they're big and brown and fluffy is to survive the cold temperatures of an Antarctic winter. These feathers keep them nice and warm when their parents aren't around to keep them cozy. The penguin we can see at the back of the exhibit is our smallest one and it's keeping warm by pressing itself up against its parents. If you have a look on the back wall of our aquarium exhibit you'll also notice this is one of the largest penguin colonies in the world and you'll notice lots of the uh, king penguin chicks standing along the water's edge waiting for their parents to come back with food. Here at the aquarium to replicate the food their parents would find in the wild we have beautiful keepers who come in and hand feed our birds to make sure everybody gets their fair share. You may notice we've got a lot of penguins coming down the hill, down the rocks and right to the door and that's because our penguin keepers have come to visit. Here comes Rosie. Now Rosie's in charge of making sure this habitat <laughs> uh, is making sure this habitat is just as neat and tidy and pretty as we can make it. These penguins are very messy and they spend around about three or four hours a day <laughs> three or four hours a day cleaning up the snow and making sure this exhibit is nice and clean for the birds overnight. Penguins poo around about every 17 minutes so one of the keeper's main jobs is cleaning up poo. Now in the wild scientists have actually used poo and pictures from satellite images in space to find new penguin colonies purely from looking at the patches of poo on the ice. Replicating a habitat involves lots and lots of work. You'll notice these keepers working hard with their shovels. They spend pretty much all day creating and replicating an Antarctic habitat for these beautiful birds. I hope you've all enjoyed visiting our penguin exhibit and replicating that habitat. If you're in grade two, you might want to think about drawing a picture of a habitat and adding some beautiful animals like these penguins in. And if you're in one of the older classes, Maybe you might want to think about what penguins eat and the food web or food chain that they are involved in. What are the predators of penguins? What do penguins eat? These are some of the things you'll need to know to keep uh, your food chain accurate and scientific. 
Now, if you'd like to learn more about penguins and their habitat, feel free to have a look at our virtual aquarium website or indeed our Facebook videos. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time.